Hi guys, today it's cooking chili crab. It's a Singaporean, Indian, Malay kind of style cooking. Well, as you guys know, I'm Singaporean, so this is how I uh, cook it, and this was how my mom actually also cooked it. So I'm going to make a chili crab, and it's with a blue runner crab. So here I have uh, some oil in a medium-sized pan, and I have just put in uh, cumin seeds, and then I'm going to be putting in a lemongrass, just a stalk of lemongrass, or in Malay I think we call it serai. So if you want to know exact measurements of what I'm putting in the ingredients and stuff, they will all be listed on my website. So I'm just gonna, you know, lightly fry. Uh, the lemongrass and the cumin seed for about uh, less than 45 seconds uh, making sure that they don't get burned here I'm adding some curry leaf this adds fragrance to the dish Here I'm adding my ginger, garlic, chili, onions, paste. So this is basically what makes the sambal. And this typically takes about close to about two to three minutes in order for it to become that deep red color. Next, I'm going to be adding in some palm sugar, but if you have regular sugar, that's fine too. This helps to balance out the spiciness just a little bit. Next, I'm adding tomato puree. So this comes in a tube, also in cans. So just use what you have at home. Next, I'm adding some salt. So this is depending on your taste, you know, how much salt you want to add. So just do it right now and you can also add salt later but I like to do it earlier so that it mixes in with the sauce and then later when I put in the crab you know all that salt and juice and flavor gets into the crab as well. Next, I'm adding half a cup of uh, coconut milk. Now I'm adding in the blue runner crab or also known as flower crab. So I'm just going to stir it in with the sambal or the sauce and um, to know whether the crab is cooked it basically has to change color so it would typically change to a like a salmony or a pinkish color then you know that the crab is cooked if you find that the mixture is getting a little too thick just add a little bit of water
Now I'm going to add in some spring onions and coriander leaf chopped up and uh, that's it. This is how you do spicy chili crab or sambal chili crab. Thank you so much for watching. All the ingredients used in this video will be listed on my site. Thank you once again and I will see you guys soon in my next video. Bye!